In order for chemical reactions that support life processes to be carried out at a rate that is fast enough to sustain life, thousands of enzymes are involved in many different reactions in the human body. In the IGCSE biology course, we look at some of the basic ones used in digestion. Although there are very few which we have to learn, they're still quite hard to remember sometimes. In this video, I will go over the digestive enzymes covered in the course and hopefully this will help some of you out. First, we start with the broad categories of enzymes. There are carbohydrates, which break down carbohydrates into simple sugars. There are lipases, which break down lipids into fatty acids and glycerol, and proteases, which break down proteins into amino acids. The main sites of enzyme secretion for digestion include the salivary glands, the stomach, the pancreas, and the small intestine, specifically the ileum. For digestion of proteins, there are two proteases that are secreted, the first one being pepsin, the second one is trypsin. Pepsin has an optimum pH of 1.5 to 2, and this is because it is secreted in the stomach, so it is in the gastric juices, which are acidic, therefore the optimum pH has to adapt so that the enzyme can work very well in the stomach. After that we have trypsin which is secreted in the duodenum which is the first part of the small intestine. The, its optimum pH is 7.8 to 8.7. Although I have used very specific figures here, in the exam they would come up as a multiple choice question and if the enzyme they specified is secreted in the stomach you would choose the pH that is the most acidic and if it is secreted anywhere else you would often choose the pH that is m more neutral. Even if it comes up as a long answer question they would often accept quite a big range of pH obviously for an enzyme that clearly works best in acidic conditions like pepsin you can't say a pH of 14 but they would often accept probably up until a pH of 3. Next we have digestion of carbohydrates the enzyme amylase, it has an optimum pH of 6.7 to 7.0. It is secreted in the salivary glands and its job is to break down glycogen or starch into maltose. Next, there are the pancreatic amylase enzymes. Its optimum pH is 6.7 to 7.0. Once again, similarly to the other one, it breaks down glycogen and starch or other similar polysaccharides into maltose. Although I said other polysaccharides, please note that it cannot break down cellulose, which is also a polysaccharide, but uh, cellulose needs cellulase enzyme to break down, and we don't have that. Next in the ileum, which is the last part of the small intestine, the maltase enzyme is secreted, and this breaks down maltose into glucose. It has an optimum pH of 6.1 to 6.8. Note that we have broken down the big polysaccharides into maltose, which is a disaccharide in the previous parts of digestion, and then in the ileum we start to break down the disaccharide into a monosaccharide. It's very systematic, I like it. Before we talk about the chemical digestion of lipids, let's talk about the mechanical breaking down of lipids. Lipids and water are immiscible, which means that they cannot mix, so you would often need something called bile salt, which is produced in the liver and stored in the gallbladder, then released into the small intestine where it binds to uh, lipid molecules like this. So the bile salt molecule, it has a hydrophilic end, which means that that end is attracted to water, it loves water, and a hydrophobic end, which is an end that hates water and tries to repel, like, it doesn't mix with water. So the hydrophobic end would stick to the lipid molecule, the hydrophilic end faces away. The hydrophilic end, as it is attracted to the water, it will pull the pull small bits of the lipid molecule away from the big lipid molecule, so you end up with many small lipid molecules scattered around. And this increases the surface area of lipids for chemical digestion. Next, with the digestion of lipids, there is first of all the gastric lipase enzyme. Its optimum pH is 4.0 to 5.0. This lipase is very special because it is an acidic lipase, which means that it does not require bile acids or bile salts for optimal enzymatic activity, unlike the alkaline lipase in the secreted in the pancreas. And then next we have the pancreatic lipase, which has a, op, an optimum pH of 7.5 to 8.0. It is secreted into the duodenum, 
and it basically just breaks down lipids into fatty acids and glycerol after the bowel salts have worked on the lipids to break the lipids down into small lipid pieces. That's it for this episode. I hope this has helped many of you out. Please like and subscribe for more!